live raid panel. Hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the World of Warcraft live raid panel. So I'm going to start off with some introductions here. Over on the right, we have Lee Sparks, producer. Here next to me is Scott Mercer. He's our lead encounter designer. I'm Corey Stockton. I'm the lead content designer. And then over here to my left, we've got a couple guys from Paragon, an EU guild that uh, got the world first Lich King 25 man heroic kill in Northrend. We've got Alani right here to my left, and to his left, Laze. Then right behind me, we've got some color commentary from uh, Alex Afraziabi, who's our lead world designer. And then we've got Greg Ghostcrawler Street, our lead systems designer. And then we've got Rob Sensen from eSports. <laughs> so we did this last year for the first time, and it was a lot of fun. It went over really well, but uh, it might have been a little fly-by-wire. It's our first time doing it. <laughs> So uh, this year we spent a little more time and we feel like we got something really cool set up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. I'm going to hand it off to Scott over here. All right, this year, um, like Corey said, we've set up a, bu a bunch of uh, new stuff. Last time we did this, we just sort of spawned heroic bosses, the green dragons. And when we did that, the problem was is that the raid just sort of blew them up because they had all uh, old hit, hit point values. So this time we went in and we've basically created entirely new copies of all these all the creatures you're about to see so it'll actually be a pretty good challenge for even paragon so let me uh spawn in the first set of um bosses they're gonna fight what what do we call this raid scott what do we call, what do we call it what's the name oh I, ask the, def <laughs> the defense of orgrimmar as those ah, plans yes yes the defense of orgrimmar um as everyone can like, see like, from the cameras, we've actually positioned... Um, whoa. We've actually positioned a, a bunch of Twilight Drakes that are attacking, Nefarians here, um, Cho'Gals here, um, and the idea is that Paragon is going to help defend Ogre Mar. So here's the first set. Now, to let everybody know, they, they have literally no idea what is about to hit them. They put, they put a lot of work into this, and there, there's going to be some crazy stuff happening out in front of Ogremar in just a second. What? Welcome back to Molten Core, ladies and gentlemen. Now, these have a bit more hit points than the previous ones. Magmadar now has 23 million hit points. Chazra has 16 million hit points. Yes. Can we have our friendly video guys uh, get the images on the far left and right <laughs> screens? <laughs> well, we got, a, we got a thousands of people that want to watch this is. over on that side. Let's not leave them out. Man, so um, I really I want to know what Paragon's doing right now in Venn, right? Because as, as soon as they see four bosses pop out in front of them, what, what are you going to do when you see Shazra and Geddon just appear in front of Org? I think you're going to annihilate them. <laughs> That's what you're going to do if you're Paragon. We'll see what they, it's, look, it's looking like they're getting into position. I mean, they literally have to create these strats completely on the fly, right? Like, we didn't tell them anything. Right. They actually had no idea that this was even in front of Org until about 60 seconds before this event started. So I told Paragon they can uh, attack whenever they're ready, and there they go. Here they go. Sorry. Oh, man. Oh, so, yeah, okay, whoa, okay. So it'll be interesting to see which of the four bosses they end up taking out first. Um, all the old abilities are there, but they do a whole lot more damage. Uh, Magmadar still, still enrages, but... Oh, wow, they're taking a whole lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Shazra oh. still does the uh, porting around, the arcane explosion. Oh, we have someone dead already. That's Two a, people dead already. That's a rogue right there. <laughs> Right, see, look, look, wow. look at this paladin coming in so here. He's got one, we've tanking. got this bear druid tanking Magmadar. You oh, guys want to stay out of the fire, by the way. Yeah. 
What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Those environmental effects, so tricky they every are. time. They are. So now you have the green fire. You want to stand in. Just right, to make exactly, it exactly. Oh, laser beams. Yes, I'll go there. So look at the raid right now. I mean, we got a lot of people riding at about 50% HP, and we really haven't seen any damage done to any of these bosses. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a, oh man, we've got breath coming out of Magmadar. Not well, looking good. Shadow's oh, about at half health. Is, oh, unfortunately, Paragon's at about. It's not looking good. Five percent. No, no. <laughs> they, they can, they can seven man this. No. This was the plan. Oh, I think no. we're gonna have to nerf these. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Man, a uh... tangle time. <laughs> So as you can see, I think that I think that the wild some development sort of GM team, res would be oh. nice here. <laughs> <laughs> the wild development team definitely learned their lesson last year. They were not giving any any free wins this time. <laughs> well, there's our boy. Gonna... All right, we're gonna res up. Try again. Better results. If only Paladin still had divine Round two. Round if two. only. If only, right? <laughs> All right, we'll try this again. All right, so as they get rebuffed up, and we're going to get ready to go into this second wave. How are you guys feeling here at BlizzCon? Yeah? This is, this is literally a one-of-a-kind global event, getting to see something like this put together specifically for Paragon, just for all of your enjoyment. Let's take a round of applause for Paragon. Yeah. Are we planning on letting them redo that first wave, or are they going to jump into wave oh, two? Oh, yeah, no. All right. They got to beat it. How, how, <laughs> how confident do they feel, though? <laughs> Hopefully they're going to have a different strat. <laughs> that, yeah, last one worked. Uh, wh oh. White being's a relatively strong strat sometimes. And here they go. Well, they've got Hunter's Mark on Shazra. They're set. Got to remember that Trank shot on Magadar. Now, I don't know. Does, is Shazra's Arcane Explosion, like, not doing a ridiculous amount of damage? Because last I checked, you do not melee down Shazra. Is it, maybe it's been so long since they, since yeah, they saw the encounters. Or... Yeah, they're, they're keeping up with the healing. Yeah. Yeah, they actually well, time the work. They're trying to burn Shazra down oh, as fast yeah. as possible. Oh, man. Because the thing about these is once they get... Oops, he teleported. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, the fear. Ooh. Oh. And Sh Shazra, as we can see right here, is starting to drop very quickly. Just about down. It looks like they're trying to right focus oh. down Shazra first here. Yeah, oh man, Cruff and Zeph both dropping down right there. We've got a lot of raid members getting pretty low, and it's not looking like they're going to be able to maybe work through Shazra. They're already three members down and have three of these bosses to go. Shazra is at about, what, 40%? Oh. Yeah, but three people down. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're, they're able to hold it pretty steady. So, oh man, oh, boom. Oh. oh, that was bad. Oh, wait, is Get In laying bombs? Is that what's happening to their raid? Yeah, living then... bomb is actually <laughs> happening. Living bombs. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that's got to be. So maybe maybe an analysis is they they've got everybody bunched up around Shazza trying to DPS through it, and Get In's throwing bombs in their DPS group, and they have no way to know who has the bomb or where yeah. to run. I, right. I got a good strategy for this though. I think the graveyard's really close, guys. <laughs> just <laughs> just Zergas. When in doubt, graveyard rush. Yeah, every time. Totally. That's what I do. No, see, so uh, that, that was the intention good. for the first raid, right? Because yeah. it, back in MC, you would always have that out of combat rezzer in your raid. Exactly. Has about I was that guy. Left. Oh, and that no. breath. The Druid tank was still up on Shazra there. You go down. No, man, they got yeah. really close that time. I think they're feeling much more comfortable with the strategy for sure. And they're back. Reset. And That's, a wipe. Yeah. Two. It's a good run. Molten Core two, Paragon zero.
<laughs> this is the one time. Do we want to do we want to move him forward, <laughs> or do we want to let him wipe again? Is that that's got it? Let's go. Let's go. You want to see the next wave? I, I think mean, we should we give him one more it. shot. We got we got some time here. We got, we got time. A little bit. Okay. One more. One right, more. One the more. Crowd, the crowd. Okay. What's the crowd think? One more. One more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That when in doubt, ask the crowd every yeah. time. It's not like it gets any easier after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait for the last two players to get going. Oh, man, that, that is an epic shot. You will never see that ever again. Okay, they're full. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna help them out a little by nerfing Shazra. Oh, they're stacking him. Wait a minute. Wow, are they are they gonna try to AOE down the phase? We've now got we've got three bosses. Okay, okay, they were just taking that initial blow and then gonna pull the bosses to the side. Man, that was gonna be amazing. <laughs> hey, look, so it's looking like they're now kind of trying to evenly spread them out, but they're still stacking Geddon on top of Shazra. Which is always uh, going to create problems. I don't see where the DPS is going. Oh, okay, on to Gehenna. Go yeah, good move. Good move for sure. It's Gehenna's pretty much once you get those ads yeah. down, right? You're just going to move through. Really yeah. They're trying to get that Helm of Might. Yeah. They, they want to make sure that they kill at least one boss from this wave. Wow, they've almost burned Gehenna's uh -oh. down. They might get an actual kill. It's getting close. It's close. Yeah. They, yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. good for them. Here come only 5%, 3% HP, only 1% remaining on Gehenna. Gehenna is down! Yes! Man, really good move. Now we're starting to see the raid move over to what looks like maybe Magmadar. Mm, not sure what's going to go on over here. Is that where we're seeing the DPS shift? Yeah. No, okay, on to Shazra, Shazra again? Next? Uh, oh, I don't know. No. Looks like they're getting Magmadar down now. Looks, oh. I think Magmadar. Oh, and Zeph goes down. We, man, a lot of that raid is just starting to take so much damage from Shazra. Every single time that they move in there, everybody's oh, taking too res. much damage. Really hard to keep up. Holy. Yeah, Sh Shazra is demolishing them single-handedly. A lot of damage. So Magmadar is oh. about 65%. I don't know. Yeah, taking Mag down a bit. Oh, GG. Shazra Fire breath, no good. Damage. Oh, that breath Ooh. is oh, bad, bad, bad. That breath is gnarly. Yeah, absolutely. Should have worn the fire resist gear. <laughs> exactly. That was, yes. Indeed. Reminiscent. It's perfect. Where's everybody's fire protection potions, man? That's what I want to know. Think of all the Hydraxian Warlord faction they're getting. That's I know. Boom. They could have had that gear made, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people still alive. Magmadar getting to around 50% of oh, seems. Getting a little low. Got oh, right actually, I, I'm pretty sure they don't have a ton of druids in their raid, but if you'd like to notice that now everybody is alive, I think they really like the corpse running. I think they <laughs> use my strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I am a master strategist. They might have took that tip. That's oh. a, that, that, it's what this see? was tuned for anyway. It's, yeah. Dude, Magmadar <laughs> got 5 million. <laughs> yeah. Magmadar coming down Four to 30%. Million. He's dropping like a rock yeah, now. They're doing really good now. Man. Oh, wow, okay, and we've got Fears going, too. I mean, and, and again, one thing, they obviously, they didn't have really any preparation for this, so there's no way to, to ultimately set up your group comps to help you just oh, a little bit more. Magmadar, oh, down. yeah. Oh, yeah, 5% oh. on Mag. Oh, 3%, oh, we're getting so close. Look at those dots tick away, and it's looking like Mag's gonna go down. Boom. Yeah, so that's, that's two of four. Paragon's looking pretty yeah. good right now. World first Magmadar. <laughs> they should get Corehound pets for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, and now it's looking like they're switching over to Baron. Okay, so they are saving Shazra, it looks like, four last. Probably a pretty good move. They did realize just how much damage they're starting to take from that. Look, they're getting encouragement in general chat. Yeah. And, now, and yeah. everybody in general is starting to pump them up. <laughs> 